Hey guys, Mr. Bowman here. Today's learning objective is in blue, and we're learning to calculate the arc length of a given sector. So, suppose two key phrases, arc length and sector, come out of that learning objective. So, um, we have a traditional circle, and if you take a portion of that, kind of like a bit of a pie, out of a bigger pie, that portion is what we refer to as a sector. And the arc length, the area just on the edge, that is what we refer to as the arc length. And we've actually got a formula where we can go ahead and calculate that arc length. So the formula we're going to focus on today, so S is going to be equal to R times delta. So S is the arc length itself. R we won't be shocked about this. R stands for the radius. And the angle. So that's the, the angle of a sector. And just drawing our sector, that would be the angle that sits within there. And that has to be in radians. So that cannot be in degrees. So not degrees. So that was a quick overview of what we were doing. So it starts off with a circle. You take a sector or a bit of the pie out. That gives us the arc length and the angle, and then that links into the formula that we're going to be focusing on. So let's get into questions. So there's a few different questions that can, can, can come out of the formula. So even though it looks quite simple, um, there's a lot that we need to go through. So let's change pen colors, and we'll be doing it quite a bit today. So question one, the first type of question is calculating the arc length. And that is in radians. So let's say we're given a sector. So we're just drawing these. So there's our sector. They may not be to scale. There's our piece of a pi, our sector. And that angle has radians of pi over 3, and it has a radius of 6 centimeters. We can find out the arc length, so let's put an x at the top there. So that's the arc length by using our formula. So s is going to be equal to r times pi. And in our case, x will be equal to r, which is 6, times pi over 3. When you put that into your calculator, that's going to tell you that the arc length is 6.3 centimeters, 6.3 centimeters, and I've rounded that to one decimal place. So that's the first question, a relatively straightforward question as well. So let's change pen colors. Let's mix it up slightly. So we're now going to look at question two. So we're now going to deal with the arc length, but this time we're going to be given some radians. Well, not given radians, so arc length. Apologies about the pen in this area. And we're going to be given degrees. So we've got a skinnier one this time around. So there's our pi. So let's say that there is 45 degrees. So 45 degrees. We've been told it has a radius of 7.5 centimeters, and we're trying to find out how long sector or the arc length for x is. So same formula. So s is going to be equal to r times angle. So that's going to be x is equal to 7.5 times. But in this case here, we've got a bit of a problem. We don't have the angle in radians. We have the angle in degrees. So we're going to need to convert that. So that's going to be 45 times pi over 180. And when you simplify all that, you should get pi over 4. So we then put that in, pi over 4. And when we get that, our, x, our arc length will be equal to 5.9 centimeters. And I rounded that to one decimal point. So a slight variation. We are applying those conversion skills that we did look at yesterday as well. So... Next pen color, let's go into blue. So the third type of question that you may be asked is to find the perimeter of a given sector. So 
So perimeter of given sector. So we're drawing another sector. And we've been told that has an angle of pi over 6 radians. And it has a radius of 8 meters. So how would we find the perimeter? So just to note, the perimeter will be the radius. So one over here, one over here. Two lots of the radius plus the arc length. So we'll just write down that, that down the bottom. So perimeter is equal to 2R plus the arc length. So 2R is easy, so it's going to be 2 times 8. We're then going to add to the arc length, which we need to go ahead and calculate using our new formula. So S, so we'll notate X again for our arc length. S is equal to R times angle. So X will be equal to 8 times pi over 6, which means X will be equal to 4.2 meters and again I've rounded that to 1 dp so we can then carry on with our formula down the bottom 4.2 so that's going to be 16 plus 4.2 which tells us 20.2 meters 1 dp would have been the perimeter of that sector so let's have a look at the last two questions we'll move on to the orange pen so question four these ones are here are where we're asked to find the angle And because they're a little bit related, we'll keep it in orange as well. And then we've been asked to find the radius. So both of these, if you've been given the arc length, you can work backwards to find out one of the other two variables. So let's draw our sectors. So there's our sector here. So let's say we've been told that has an arc length of 4.2 kilometers. And we know it has a radius of 2 kilometers. We can work backwards to find out that missing angle. So we'll find out both in radians and degrees, but you may need to be able to figure out both. So S is equal to R times angle. S is the arc length, 4.2. That's going to be equal to 2 times the angle. The angle will be 4.2 divided by 2 which will be equal to 2.1 radians. If you wanted to convert that to degrees, so you could have done 2.1 times 180 divided by pi. And when you put that into your calculator, you get, so let's quickly do that. So we've got 180 divided by pi times 2.1. That gets us to 120.3 degrees, and that there was rounded to one decimal place. So hopefully that makes sense. So you, if you're given the arc length, you can work backwards to find out the angle. Similarly, if you're given the arc length, you can work backwards to find the radius. So there is a uh, sector we've been told that the sector of this is 10 or the arc length is 10 meters we've been told the angle is 4 pi over 5 and this time around we don't know the length of the radius so s is going to be equal to r times the angle s is equal to 10 times r times 4 pi over 5 so let's just clean that up so we can work on algebra a bit more. So it's going to be 4 pi r over 5. We then do times 5. So 10 times 5 is equal to 4 pi r. We can then divide by 4 pi r instead of times by 4 pi r. So it's 50 divided by 4 pi is equal to the radius. And in this case, that means the radius came to 3.98 meters, and I rounded that to two decimal points. So hopefully you found this video useful. We've learned five different types of questions we can approach with this new arc length formula that we're looking at. The key thing I want to emphasize down the bottom, just highlight, circled it in orange, 
the angle is in radians, you may be expected to convert back and forth between degrees if you are given degrees. All right, let's get into heaps of practice, guys.